Welcome to the Australian Electric Vehicle Association's EV Expo 2022. Let's check this out, a bit of a tour and some interviews with some of the businesses we've got here today. I'm here at EV Stuff Solutions with Michael. Thanks for joining me, Michael. Thanks for having us. All right, so this is a unique product. Tell us about it. So we supply tow bars and tow hitches for the electric vehicle market. We started specifically with the Teslas. Uh, so we supply the fully compliant range for the Model 3s and Model Ys. The idea behind our sort of um, business was really trying to expand the EV experience. You know, I've got a, I'm an EV owner myself and I've got a young family and we really wanted to, we we're really outdoorsy and we, 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 we're on the bikes quite a bit and you know, we wanted to find a solution for that. And so right now we offer a tow hitch that basically, and, and the complimentary accessories that come with that. So you know, a lot of our customers that want to expand the experience are you know, e-bikers and bikers, but also they tow their trailers for a lot of the green wastes that they take out over the weekends and things like that. So you know, our accessories and tow bars pretty much allow you to expand that experience. We've got a customer here demonstrating that they can tow even caravans <laughs> specifically for the outdoors. So, okay, wait, wait. The weekend's ruined. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to say it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so, look, a big part of this weekend is really just dispelling those concerns and anxiety around EVs and towing and range, you know, specifically. We've, got, we've collected a lot of data in our two years around the impact to ranges and, and what the various influences are. So, you know, there's a lot of ignorance out there around you know, how much you can tow and you're not going to get the, the event. So, for example, we've got a customer here towing a, a, a thousand kilo um, camper trailer who, you know, he still gets 250, 300 kilometers out of that. You know, with the bikes, we, we drove up from Sydney. We've got an extra bit of weight on that. We also uh, got about three, we were carrying a bit of stock over the weekend also. You know, we still got a range that went from 500, you know, we're down to about 380. So, you know, got to Canberra fine. and. You know, realistically, the infrastructure is improving, the market's improving, and a big part of this weekend is getting that, that helping people with that transition and really understand that you know the EV is no different to the ice market. Yeah. It's just really helping that transition to a bit quicker, really. Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. So I see you can do like the Model Three and the Model Y, and um, you know, what sort of uh, tow rating uh, can you do on the belt on the ball, I guess, or whatever yeah, it is. Sure. So we match the car's rating first and foremost. So any car that comes out for commercial sales in Australia, the car manufacturer will go through the uh, certification process, mm -hmm. and they'll certify that car to what the capacity can tow, yeah. and then. Some of them will offer a factory made tow bar, some of them won't. In fact, most of them won't. Tesla yeah. particularly don't, yeah. for example. So we found a little gap there that we started with the Model 3s. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted to match that towing capacity of the car. So the Model 3 is certified to a thousand kilo towing capacity mm -hmm. with a down weight capacity of a hundred kilos. Yeah. The Model Y, that's been certified to Australian standard to 1600 mm -hmm. in line with the car capacity too. Okay, yep. awesome. So yeah, no cool. worries. So um, how do people get in contact with you guys? So, look, the best form of uh, contact is our website, uh, evstealthsolutions.com.au. Mm -hmm. uh, we're based in Sydney, but we've also partnered with all the various installers around the country. Okay. Uh, we, we've got a present in each state. So, you know, we wanted to provide customers a full end-to-end -end solution, um, particularly around buying a tow bar and actually getting it installed and, yeah. and having installers confident enough to work with EVs. Because when I, admittedly, when I bought uh, my tow bar and got it in the country, I, I really wanted to have a, a peace of mind that I hadn't installed that new one, had installed one, but yeah. also knew how to work with electric vehicles. And mm -hmm. now that, you know, we've got, you know, two years of data now and two years of installation and confidence in the market now yeah. that, you know, we've got, we got that present in each state and we're happy to sort of connect to, you know, all around the country to all our various installers and distributors. Awesome. No, all right. Well, you. thanks very much, Michael. Really thank appreciate you. it. Thank and uh, yeah, check them out. All right, I'm here with Charging Stations Australia with Rodder. Rodder, thanks for joining me. No worries, thank you. All right, now tell me about this product. It's, uh, it's quite unique. Yeah, so it's a, a charger, smart EV charging station out of Spain. Um, they've got built-in load modulation, so basically it monitors the power of your house and then it will only distribute the, the power to your car 
so it doesn't trip any fuses or you know you don't run the risk of blowing your blowing your service mains. Okay, cool. So obviously it's load aware. Does that mean it could do things like solar and? Absolutely can. Yes, it can monitor your solar um, consumption as well, and then you can tell it basically. Um, how much solar you want to use to charge a car, if it's all the solar or if you want to use some from the mains as well, or if you want to charge off peak, uh, any of that sort of stuff's all possible. It's all built in. So, okay. yeah. Cool, awesome. And, um, and what other features does it have? Because I noticed like there appears to be an RFID sort of thing on there. Yep, they all come standard with RFID um, and OCPP compliance, which means we can put it on a, a charging network and then you can bill customers or if you're, um, oh, there's heaps of different white uses for it and you can activate it with any RFID tag. Um, I've activated my own with my gym tag, for example, okay. and it reads it straight away. Okay. And um, yeah, they're pretty pretty clever. Well, that's awesome. So like, I could then be like a business owner and potentially put it somewhere commercially available and charge people for the electricity they use? You absolutely can. And if you're a business owner, you've got a lot of company cars with employees that want to go to EV, mm -hmm. then you can put a charger like this in at your home, put it on a private network, and then your business can pay for their electricity at home. Fantastic. All right, well, look, that's really awesome. And um, how do people find you? Uh, www.chargerstations.com.au. Great. Right, look, I'll put the link down below. And uh, thanks for coming on, brother. No worries. Thank you very much. All right, I'm here now with EV Automotive. And Peter, thanks for joining me. No worries at all. Thanks for coming. All right, now tell me, what are we looking at here? What we have here is the uh, EC11, which is a large commercial van, 100% electric, made basically from the ground up, so it's not a conversion. Fantastic. And uh, step me through it, like what are the specs? So with the EC11, it's, a, it's capable of holding 1.7 tonne, 12.3 uh, cubic metres of goods, so it's no slouch in that particular market. Runs a 73 kilowatt hour battery, Range depends on load and terrain, of course, so ideally suited for metropolitan round town last mile deliveries. Um, looking somewhere around that 250 mark, 200 to 250, purely dependent on what you're carrying. So Peter, um, is, is it made like in Australia, China, what's the go? So the vehicle is made in China. Mm -hmm. What we do with our bus version is actually made in Australia. So the Shell motor drivetrain comes in and then all of the fit out to maintain Australian design rules, quality and standards all had to be done in Australia. Okay. So that was quite exciting for us. Fantastic. So what's that percent, do you reckon? Uh, it's between 50 to 60 percent, depending on how you want to look at it. Okay, that's, that's great. Look, supporting Australian jobs, which is great. And um, in terms of what is ADR compliant then, is it? Yeah, it's all ADR compliant. Um, so that was our prerequisite. They needed to make it with a left-hand sliding door. They needed to make it in right-hand drive and they needed to make it to Australian design rule standards. Mm. Now that's the new standards, not the old standards, which finished in 89. Okay, fantastic. And so, oh look, we'll leave details below as to how you can get in contact. And you're taking orders? Yeah, it's all online, basically ev-a.com.au. Uh, if you look up EC11, you'll also easily find the vehicles. Go to the website, have a look, plenty of pictures, plenty of video. Um, press the order now button and everybody's happy. Fantastic. Look, I think it's a great um, vehicles you've got here, you know, for, as you said, last mile deliveries. Um, you may be doing commuter, like limousine trips and things like that. It's, uh, yep, pubs, clubs, commuter, um, community transport groups, uh, courtesy buses, ideally suited. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Thanks very much, Peter. Too easy. Thanks for your time. All right, I'm here at Rove with Noah Wasma, who's the CEO and co-founder. Thanks for coming along, really appreciate it. Chris, thank you so much for having us. This is a great, exciting show to be at, and uh, we're really excited to get uh, our cars and vehicles out there. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is an exciting vehicle. Like, can you t talk us through it? Yeah, so this is a, a Hilux. Looks, feels, and, and is just your standard Hilux, but what's really unique about it is now it's got it's fully electrified, right? And we, we put a 70 kilowatt hour pack inside of it, you know, and, and what we're really looking to do is really help our, our councils, our fleets, you know, all of our, our crew out there have a, an option now to get 
the truck they know and love, both Hilux and Ranger, and but have it be that electric vehicle they've been looking for. Fantastic. And uh, so what are the specs? What sort of range would you get? Yeah, so, you know, this is a 70 kilowatt hour, a four by two that we're, we're expecting between 200 and 300, uh, you know, kilometers. We also are going to have a 100 kilowatt hour uh, truck that, you know, we think will get quite a bit more range, hopefully over 400 kilometers. Fantastic. And yesterday I was at the conference with Norm and, um, you know, I learned that your packs might be interchangeable in the future and you've got a, like a 50-50 weight distribution in this thing now. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. And you know, one of the things that we're not looking to say, hey, go to the gas station and swap out the battery. Yeah. But what we, you know, like you, Chris, we believe that these these batteries have a long life, right? And they have a second and third life. And so one of the things we want to make sure is able to be done is whether it's, you know, uh, you know, that they, they've gone through and they want to actually a little bit further range, we can actually just swap out the pack. You know, it may be a, a four hour job, but really get them to the next you know, that next level, or, you know, after they've used it for 10 years, maybe they want to swap to a battery and keep using the truck. Now we're able to do that with the Rove. Awesome. All right. So I'll put the details down below and when do orders open? Uh, so we're, we're starting right away. Uh, we're working specifically first with some of our fleets and councils and, and uh, business organizations, you know, uh, companies that want to be a design partner with us to really look at how do we really make these best suit for pur suited uh, for purpose. Yeah. And so we're, we're excited to get these going. Fantastic. All right, well, thanks very much. Yeah, Chris, thank you so much. And come down to the expo. And, and, uh, and again, we look forward to talking a lot more about what we're doing. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Here at the EVSC booth, and I'm with Sam. Thanks for joining me, mate. Uh, thanks for having me, Chris. Awesome. Now, this is actually unique and special. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this is the Ocular IQ Dual Tower. It's essentially our heavy duty commercial and fleet solution. Uh, we really wanted to kind of give the market a, a better experience. So, um, a lot of kind of destination chargers don't have screens, they don't even have cable holders. It can be quite a, a bland experience. So, we wanted to kind of allow destination charging. We wanted high powered 22 kilowatt outlets and we wanted it to kind of be really functional. Awesome. So I can see like an RFID tag here. Tell me about that. So the RFID tag is part of kind of a standard setup. So if you're running like a, a billing or a fleet solution, often you'll want to kind of either scan with the app or tap an RFID card. We're, we're doing some updates very soon, so we'll have a few more features coming okay. uh, on the tower, including a credit card option. All right, so therefore the application could be for your business that you'd have a fleet of cars, say, and your, your, uh, you know, your staff would tap on? Yeah, exactly right. So you can have a fleet of these chargers. This can actually load control uh, independent of software up to 250 chargers. Okay. So really, really powerful gear in here. Uh, you can drop a 4G SIM card, you can connect it via Wi-Fi, back any any OCPV back office. Yeah, it's very, very functional. Okay, cool. So it's obviously grid controllable, uh, great for like what, shopping centers and stuff like that? Yeah, it's, it's perfect for shopping centers because, you know, uh, I believe you, you, you charge where you park okay. and you should really charge wherever it's convenient. So yeah. that's at home, at work, on the road, and then of course on the big network. So this is kind of the perfect destination charger. We can wrap, we can brand them up as well, so we can create a really kind of site experience. I call it. Fantastic, yeah. well, I always be charging is a good thing. All right, well, thanks very much, Sam. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Chris. All right, well, that's a wrap for the Australian Electric Vehicle Association's EV Expo of 2022. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please do, do consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. Next year, they'll be in Perth, WA. So check that out. That'll be November. Um, and look, if you want to see behind the scenes content and how I put this video together and more, please come over to Patreon, where from as little as $2.50 per month, you get this and a lot more. Yeah, it's a great little, great value. All right, otherwise, you be good and you be green. <laughs>